Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Tell Me Why. I was hoping to start earlier <laughs> tonight so we could get more done, but it just didn't happen out. Happen out. Jesus, words. It just didn't happen that way. Here we are. Okay. We're back at the uh, graveyard. This is good. Okay, so it did save when we got here. I wasn't sure where it was going to have saved us. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. Again, go Allison looks like uncle. she's gonna pass out or something. Good luck. For real. Which is not surprising. Hey, Miffy! Oh my god, you got three of us on the go. Well, I'll be here. Dip in and out as you please. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after... I promise after this we can chill at the house. Cool? You're leaving already? <laughs> I did see that uh, Euphorona was on alright. Just before I started. <laughs> if I get a message that makes no sense, I'll be like, that wasn't meant for me. That's okay, no worries. Am I able to jump? No, okay. So, did you ever come back? Keep it down. Better? Oh, okay. I was like, what does she mean? Okay, I can't go that way. Never mind. Yeah. Anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Yikes. Thankfully. She hasn't been back here since the funeral? That's intense. Okay, I can't go up there either. I guess we're just going. Oh wait, is that a memory? Where is it? I think it's further in. There it is, okay. I'm Sometimes they're hard to see. All the time. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No, it's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But the snow is very pretty. It was like loving us. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Sorry guys, one sec. Okay, let's see what these are. Celebrating life, okay, some kind of poem. Okay. 
Okay. Didn't you say Tessa would be just inside the gates? Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure that- Not this one. Guess again. We don't know what her maiden name was, so I don't know how we're supposed to know who her parents are. De Leon. That's the one. Ah, okay. Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Hmm. Kids. It's time. Oh god. Is it the funeral memories? Fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely mm. remember it. That's probably for the best. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. I didn't I mean to do that. I didn't mean she... to interrupt that. <laughs> <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Yeah. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Oh, there's someone here. Is that Eddie? Oh no, that's Michael. Don't want to interrupt him. Um. <laughs> Do you remember where she is? Oh god, they don't even worth, remember. I remember staring at the water during the funeral. <sighs> oh. uh, Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going! Allison, come back! <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Totem? Oh, this. Oh, missed it. There we go. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did, watch. You killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. Now what? Do I have to pick one? Hmm. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna... I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. I think probably Tyler. I'll see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. 
we'll see each other soon then. Stop crying, silly. We have to go, kid. God, I could have sworn it went the other way. I'm so sorry. I, I should have staged a hunger strike until Eddie agreed to drive me. <laughs> Water under the bridge. This spot's familiar. Carl Brown. Man, I forgot how hard Mary and Toby when Eddie's mom died. Well, we were only four. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. Ty. This, mm -hmm. this is it. Right? Yeah. Which one? I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. No dice. Not hers. Okay, I guess we're just looking at the ball then. Why can't I remember? Where is she? Well, dude, I don't know. Oh, I wasn't here. <laughs> Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Kids, I, uh, I, I wasn't expecting to see, but what are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. 
She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the Yikes. woods. This is if she just settled escalating. down with someone instead of running around with married men. Uh oh. Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I. Oh God. What happened between them? I, oh I my God. Thinking, please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. This just, I mean, escalated. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. Mm -hmm. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Mm. Thank you. I thought she was going to go on a god spiel there the for a minute. the last couple of days have been hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Yeah, I'm done losing people. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. Also, where was Tessa lurking when we tomorrow? came in here? I'm curious about that. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? Because she just kind of appeared. You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. This is a very yeah. weird camera angle. These are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Awkward as hell. She's Allison. Pretty good at not talking about anything. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Hey. Brothers and sisters. Right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. Of course she is. She choice. hasn't fucking processed it at all because nobody knows. I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? 
Nothing. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, all right? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Hmm. Maybe she was too proud, but she worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa, or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she, she gave up. But kill mm. her kids? Really? I don't believe that that's what what happened. Yeah, something's missing. It still feels like there's something missing, right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always gonna feel that way. Is it the end of the chapter? Nope. Chapter two is a long old one. <sighs> I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit, Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Um, how did we get? Sam? Wait, who? Who the hell is that? Tyler! Tyler, are you alright? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. What's happening? Anything I can. Th oh, Jesus Christ, words. The only person I can think of that would do that is Sam if he was drunk and feeling emotional. What? What happened? Uh, there, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not Wait, sure. Is there something under there? He couldn't see straight in, and he was all in black. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. Can you guys stop but talking so I can I'm interact with this? Out. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. For chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. God. He really turned this place upside down. Okay, I need to find something. Did he really have to smash everything? Okay, her tools are in here. Asshole even dumped the drawers. What is that? At least you were spared. None of my valuable stuff's missing. 
What did we just pick up? Oh, a collectible. Ah. That's what I need. Guess we know how he made the hole. This gas can was already here this morning. Hmm. He didn't bring it with him. He went looking under the rug? Hmm. Whoever it is, they knew something was here. Step back. I'll be fine. Who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this? Mm -hmm. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Uh. Okay, it's this I, right? Look, look. It's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Okay, once upon a time in the deep nature forest, a crafty goblin spied on the secret keeper. She made her rounds, gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. How, said the first goblin, does she get people's secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out, said the second, and so the goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the starlit moose came to her, head hanging low. It was my fault, I chose the uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into Salbert Moose's eyes. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose, for the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice. After a few minutes, the Salbert Moose blinked. I feel lighter, said Moose. Did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded, handing him a coin. The Stalworth Moose nodded and plodded along down the trail. He spied the goblins hiding in the wood and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently, and the moose was forced to carry on, because they were not doing anything obviously bad. Oh god, there's four pages. I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could stow away, the se away Moose's secret. We want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? Asked the secret keeper, her voice filling their minds. The goblins produced a silver-handled hairbrush they had stolen from the princess, and the secret keeper nodded. And that is how the goblins came to know that Moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more, so the goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they climbed a high spruce tree that disappeared into the misty sky. They reached out and just managed to dip their hands into the clouds. Their heads were filled with memories, and they snatched their hands back out as if they had just thrust them in boiling water. Tears poured down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secrets, said the secret keeper. Give them back. The crafty goblins stopped crying because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange, they asked. I will give you the silver-handled hairbrush, offered the secret keeper. For so many secrets, you'll have to offer more than that. What if, said the secret keeper, I shared the gift of voice. The crafty goblins grew excited. That will do. So the secret keeper shared the gift of voice with the goblins, and immediately they found that they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. The crafty goblins gave back the secrets they had taken and ran back into the big wooden house. Okay, that just, that just sounds like the twins. There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was a blank. They tried to speak to her using only their own minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other and not the whole of the forest. And that is how the goblins stole the gift of the voice from the secret keeper, but why they could only use it with each other. That's, am I supposed to find numbers in there? <laughs> they said three digits, right? Probably not one, two, three. That wasn't it. <laughs> I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open, and preferably without destroying the box. Okay, that's more my style, cause I. 
I'm not gonna figure out that, uh... So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Oh. Fires? Don't know if that'll do it, but... Yeah. I can't even see the lock, like a lock, but... Let's not waste time. Okay, what's in the box then? Okay, the lock was so hard to see in the dark. I think she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Della's Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously but something changed when I met you. When we're together I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway and my lights off and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right and we both have a lot to lose but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same, heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Fuck. That's rough. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel you'd make a this great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday. But right now we have to make Maybe sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. Two different handwriting. So not the same person. everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. It's pretty clear what happened. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know... I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Well, at least he left us the Junker. There's a memory somewhere, but I don't know where it is. supposed to follow it? Allison! Allison! Why are we seeing this? I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Mm. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I trade. Mad Hunter! Oh, yeah. Wait. There was someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, s I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Yes, what I'm wondering. Mad Hunter! What? No. That... That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but mm -hmm. I guess it was just some asshole. Some, some asshole, asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, 
Unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? Where did she go? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Oh, she's there. Hold on. Do you feel that? Where is it? Finding these memories is hard. <laughs> I don't know if I missed it or if it was supposed to be a cutscene. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. I'm not going to say even after just what I did for you, because that's just Please. manipulative. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How? How? How can you say that to me? I don't think he meant to. I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. that work? Sorry, it kind of bugged out. Why is it not? Oh, I'm really having to try. Oh, right, this was intentional. I thought I was just... Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! I don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. Hmm. I told you, I told you that would happen. We almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. So you're here to make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut? I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure yeah. I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. That's it. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can be overrated. Allison looks like she's gonna fucking pass out or something. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse.
Here she goes. It's getting kind of cold in my room. I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna pause this. I'll be right back. Okay. Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Oh, actual cutscene. Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. Make sure I don't get busted. You help us out. Lend me some money. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? <sighs> what do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill well, you! That's why she has the gun. Allison! Okay, so that was the second chapter then. Okay, Tyler fell out and discarded his feelings when choosing her memory of the house. Tyler felt hurt when need about needing time and Allison when she's the house showing. Allison felt hopeful about becoming family when Tyler forgave Eddie. Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. Tessa gave Felt grateful the twins kept her in their lives. Okay. So we're going on to chapter three. It's probably going to be a big cutscene here. There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. 
It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many opened wounds. Well, that's not creepy at all. Oh, boy. One of those nightmares that you've been talking about, Allison. What should I say? You killed me. Uh oh. Don't like me. Oh yeah, I gotta fall through the ice. Or something's coming from under the ice. This just took a very sharp nosedive into thriller territory. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but mm. a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. Mom? <laughs> Let me guess, she's gonna turn around and it's gonna be Allison. Mm hmm. Inheritance, yeah, I feel like they inherited some shit all right.
this going to be Allison's time without Tyler? Okay, it seems like it. Um... What's happening? <laughs> Screaming underwater in the sink is how we deal with things, I see. Morning, I started collecting the documents you need for your rental application, left the file for you downstairs on the kitchen counter. If you're still coming to meet Dee for lunch, you can drop off the documents and I'll make some copies for you. Take it easy today, Uncle Eddie. P.S. My famous buck-up buckwheat waffles are slowly grow growing cold in the kitchen. He's right. Time to get my shit together. I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. I could use a Michael pep talk. I never imagined Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. I'm confused that there, this is like... Now time, or...? Wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox for 12. Mm hmm. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. <laughs> Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. God, sometimes it's really hard to get <laughs> to get the right angle on things to target them. Days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. Ah, tidal tennis, tidal crossing. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. What the? I should probably eat something. I feel so weak. So many months of snow boots ahead. I always loved this one.
he looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened, but what the hell was I supposed to say? I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Oh, objective proceeding. Oh, okay. Court find set. And you can warner not been married, all parental rights. So that's basically the documents of how he became her legal guardian. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. Hmm. That was a good memory, even though Tyler couldn't come. So this must be, she must have just left the house after saying she couldn't do it anymore and she came back here instead of staying with Tyler. I don't think Eddie's worn this since that terrible blind date two years ago. Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. Why? It's fun. <laughs> ah, shouldn't be snooping and then she picked it up. That wasn't me. That was all her. This is personal. My dearest son, I know I'm not getting better this time, so I wanted to write a few things down for you. I'm sorry to be leaving you so soon. I had you late in my life, but I still thought there would be more time. It makes me happy to know you will have the clan where I am gone, when I am gone, and you will have your auntie to look after you. You've always seemed to know when it was time to leave. From the time you were a year old, you knew which shoes belonged on which feet, and you used to bring me mine whenever I was getting ready to go somewhere. I could never figure out how you knew I was ready to leave, but there you'd be with my shoes every time. I never cried or made a fuss, just helped me on my way. I hope this leaving will be just as easy, and though I won't need you to fetch me my shoes, I know you'll help me on my way. Your strength has always been to accept what it is, and to do what needs to be done. I'm so proud of you for joining the police force. People are going to look at you as a leader now, and I know you won't let them down. Please help the young people remember our way of life. We've tried, thrived as people since time before memory, because of our cultural values. Don't let them lose that. Also remember how important it is to attend to everyone, not just the ones who fit in. It is our way to lift up, to lift each other up. Everyone has something to offer in the community. They may not even see it in themselves, so you've got to show them. Help them along their path as you've always done. Remember when you uplift others, it makes you stronger too. Okay, and then that's a language that I don't know at the end there. Haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Ah. Collectible. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. What's the eye again? It's the same story. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins. Am I supposed to know? Uh, I don't know. That'll help me figure this out. Like, I've already read the story, but I don't the understand. Secret keeper in her secret keep. It's the one that I've read already. About the clouds. But I... Once I've read it, shouldn't I come back out and... Looks like this is coin-operated. Oh, okay. 
Looks like this is coin operated. Don't have a coin. It's happening again. Something's not right. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. Dear Chief Brown, thank you so much for bringing our children home safe last weekend. Without you, they might have gotten behind the wheel and who knows what could have happened to them or anyone else. We'll always be grateful for your wisdom. Thanks again for keeping this off the books. They are good kids who made a mistake and Lord knows how a police record can compromise the child's future. We know they'll remember your words for a long time, but please rest assured that we will do whatever we can to make sure they understand the extent of what has occurred. So they can raise awareness about the peers in the community. God bless you, Gail and Toby, Locklear, Karen and Brody Moore. Okay. I need to get all that paperwork together. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. I can't really eat anything right now. A minute ago you said I should Here's really the file. eat. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? Uh-oh. Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and paste up. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. Maybe if I make something for D, it'll help calm me down. Michael's special creamy crab hot pot saute. Okay, so it's a recipe. Um. Eddie says there's a plant for every pain, except heartache. True that. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. Okay, so I have a coin now. Assuming my ID is going to be in this. Ah, there it is. Here's my ID. Oh, Jesus. This place doesn't have much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. Oh, Allison's starting to come apart at the my seams. Better. Not surprising. Oh, She's holding it, everything Alice. in. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Oh, well, the camera just did a weird thing. Hello, can I move? Thanks. Doggy! God, the world feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me. F I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? Seems like a pretty open dude. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. Or 
Right, so I'm assuming... Oh, there's another door. Paperwork's not down there. Okay, well, is it in your room then? I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories. But he wouldn't listen. <laughs> Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Where would the pace that would be in here? Is it? Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a oh, detox. Yeah. I should have gone back into 12. Eddie's room with the coin I forgot. Not here. Not here. Jesus Christ, like, would you not just have a place that you keep, like, important paperwork? <laughs> there we here go. They are. Here they are, all one of them. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? Okay, we're gonna ignore it for now because I want to go. Allison, help! Uh, Allison, please. I don't think there's any reason my phone would have ended up here. I know you've been struggling. I'm fine. If they can help her. I said I'm fine. I need to. I... A secret keeper in her secret keep. Gonna just be a collectible in here. I don't even know if I got them all. Oh yeah, I don't no even way. know if I got them all from the it last worked. chapter. To be honest, I wonder why it needed a coin. Damn it! I missed one in the last chapter as well. Son of a bitch. The secret keeper is a traveling woman who buys and sells secrets. She stores all these secrets in the clouds because nobody ever looks up when they're searching for hidden things. Yeah, they tend to put all the shit in their back pockets. I don't know what kind of back pockets they got going on. I, like, never use my back pockets for anything. Wait. In the basement? It, it, huh? Why would your phone be in the fucking basement? My dove. Only thieves and monsters hide in the dark. Fly back to the light, Alice. Hmm. What the? Hey. No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. Why would her phone be down here? Like, why? <laughs> no phone here. Not here. No, 
No phone here. What's it doing here? Who is calling? Hey, D. Finally. Hmm. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. <laughs> That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> Get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file. Get dressed and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. I mean, that is understandable. It's his mom. Okay, <laughs> okay, she's holding her phone and also. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserve that. Mm. This is a totally different life. I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> I, I've... Make a gift. Wait, her phone didn't end up down here because of this exact moment that's happening right now. Did it? Why is the, the phone is glitched in her hand still? <laughs> Dee's birthday gift. I miss you, pup. Oh, we had a doggy. I think I looked at everything. Oh. Front door. Probably brother. Or not. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake. Since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? Uh, he's busy. No, he's, uh, busy. Out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say why is the phone already thinking. broken? She spent years blaming she's like, herself. Well, she glitched the through only her arm. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. 
especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. Mm. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I, I mean, he does. So ironic because nobody I'm sorry, knows. I'm pretty. Deep. He made the biggest sacrifice by going to oh, jail of course. and taking I'll the blame. Let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip: avoid catching a ride with Tom at all costs. <laughs> Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. Oh, boy. You're free now. Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, good. Because I did not plan to. I've been overdoing it on double shifts this week. I'm beat. I know the feeling. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. Allison, what's going on? Yeah, we can Tyler be honest and with I Michael. I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck-up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? The deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. You're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? Oh, God. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um... I need to... I, I just need to sit down. We're having a panic attack. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? Tell him. God, everything? My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. 
That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. I think I'm completely nuts. This phone glitched in her arm is driving me mental. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. And you? Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno. I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you got to put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling, and if he's ready to talk. What he do you is. Think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. happened it i <laughs> i have no idea what happened it just got stuck like that for some reason i'm hoping now after that because they now that it's loading into a new thing it, it'll be gone because <laughs> that was so weird Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't <laughs> been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. I was like, she's not gonna eat that because she didn't eat anything before. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. I shouldn't bother him. I'm trying to. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Wait. Mr. Griffin, can you confirm the reason for your visit to Yellow Cross? Just visiting family. My post is your younger brother lives here. Let me know. That voice is familiar. I probably shouldn't Maybe eavesdrop, uh -huh. but. Uh huh. 
but no more snooping. Come on. No more snooping. Uncle's in there. Whew. He's really letting that guy have it. No more snooping. I don't know if I'm supposed to listen to that conversation, but I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We Do you ready? Really talked about it. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hun. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Nothing really. Just waiting for Dee. Then pull up a chair. Oh, she is going to eat some. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool. Yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra answer. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? <laughs> what are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, shh, shh. Black radish? I won't tell if you won't. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. Hate strikes. What is this? Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Hmm. Hey, Gregs. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up? What are they talking about? They're talking about none of your business, young lady. This little criminal locked up in a kennel in the back of my car. And I really kind of need to get to work. I I'd appreciate it if you could take him to animal control or, or whatever it is that you'll do. Of course, yeah, sure, I'll handle it. You did the dirty work, so I can take it from here. Thank you. No, I can Thank see you. you. Spine, right? You can't imagine how many hours. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. And it's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so. I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. <sighs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Wait, huh? You know, the perp who's been going around stealing people's mail and dumping their packages into the snow. Anyway, Dr. Torres caught him. She's got him locked in a cage in the back of her SUV. Wait, An she's animal? got him where now? It's a raccoon. Oh. <laughs> Yellow's Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash band of snow away. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how Lol. legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? I love it. Shoves <laughs> it back in the box. How did I get <laughs> so lucky? 
That's it. Put it put it in your back pocket. Bella's Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but... Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Uh-oh. Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but... I gotta <laughs> Those say, back pockets it ain't right. all day. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to have this conversation right now. I, I had a rough morning. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... They mostly don't change. Even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. Oh, but she's gonna lose her mind. If he goes down, don't let him take you with him. Okay? I, I can't. I can't. She's do gonna this. pass out. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. <sighs> Yeah, basically everything he's saying is saying about her, but he doesn't know that she's the one who did the killing and Ty, are you there? Tyler? Answer me, please. Fuck. Is Why is he ghosting me? Is it a distance thing? God. I can't breathe. Oh, this is gonna have a fucking heart attack. Okay. Okay. I've been here before. This will pass. Is this a breathing thing? I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something. Oh. oh. I just need to breathe in and out. Follow the circles. She's starting to actually breathe. We have to do this five times. My heartbeat's slowing down. Hold on. You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. 
It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going though. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, That's uh, Sam. It's mm -hmm. I am. Um, went back to the house and got a few things for you. I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. The goblins. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids. I... <laughs> this is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. Oh, it's way more than a pile. Why not go in the door? It's right there. Oh, we're going upstairs. Okay. It's way more than a panic attack. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong about everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. Oh, are we about to tell him the truth? That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. Yeah, so was he. You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Oh God, I have to make this decision. <laughs> hmm. Let's just do it. Fuck it. Uncle. It was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? Oh boy. What, what are you saying? She, she was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He he went to fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. No, 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 no. Uh, 
How? <laughs> How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake. I well, know. Now it's Eddie's turn to have a fucking but mental we were breakdown. In shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> We should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> It's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. Okay, as long as you don't turn into Cop Eddie and say you have to fucking report this. I should have seen it. I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you two. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Okay, so that's probably the biggest scene that's happened in the entire game, and it was so short earlier. compared to the, some of the other ones. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close were he and Marianne? I... I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. I'm concerned about what Eddie's gonna do with that information. Is he going to be able to just keep it to himself? Because what's happened has already happened. Okay. You can do this. I don't even fully know what it is we're going to try and talk to him about. Out of order, go around. Good. He's here. Okay. Pretty.
All right, let's do this. Hi, Sam. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? Wanted to talk. Let's just cut to I the chase here, shall we? I was to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Uh, here she is. That's called Laura. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. Not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. And this was the banana's fault. Bananas are bad luck, sure as hell. Every single time I throw a banana off board, the fish start biting. All right, if you say so. <laughs> oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Your mother gave that to me. Impressive collection. If you want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh-oh. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? Uh, <laughs> where's your brother? Oops. Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh... What's he getting up to today? Who knows? Huh. All right. Whoa, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. Well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way. You know? How's the uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, there's a whole life. Uh, lives in there. No shame. Why do we open this if there's nothing to interact with in there? Weird. So, um, I was over at the station, and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. <laughs> That's a nice memory. Having some trouble? Can't get these nuts loose because my idiot cousin let them rust. I got a can of rust remover somewhere. If you come across it, pass it over, yeah? Oh, uh, sure. Um, Shit. literally right here. Freaking nuts are stuck. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. <laughs> Someone to appear and answer this complaint on the following day. Okay. Oh. 
Wow, he's yeah. A little bit in the red there. Hey, cause I left you my boat a month ago, and as far as I can tell, the only work you've yeah. done is test. You How much gear you can fit on it? In this mess? Paid you in advance as a favor because I know you needed it, but goddammit, I need my boat, family's family, but get it done by the weekend or I'm reporting is stolen, and I know you're tired of brown on your ass. Answer your goddamn phone. Well, we can see that he didn't vote. Red can, okay. Is that gonna be in the cupboard over here? Yep. And that rust remover's in some sort of spray bottle. Should say sticky mechanisms on it. Well, I mean, I wasn't able to read it, but... Good. Now, let's see. Should be just about... Uh-huh. Pass me that wrench, will ya? <laughs> Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. That's not an answer. Well, I wish I was. Yeah, I didn't what the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? Mm. I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. Mm -hmm. Hear about Captain Saves crew members. Huh. Hey, come have a look. Dad talked to mom and she said You're having some trouble. It's not much, but hopefully it's enough. Oh. He has a, he has a kid. What's all this? Here, I uh, kept a few things. Can I? She 
She looks happy. Hmm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mm -hmm. Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear the... Uh, yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jim, you closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to okay. empty it out for the sale, so... Dude, all your bottles are empty, and now is not the time. Ellie, well, you really going to go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all that it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. Can't be mean to Sam, he's so sweet. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three yeah. different places. Not that. <laughs> it's stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, uh, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think... I think about that... a lot. <laughs> gotta... remember. I'm assuming that he just fell asleep and he's not dead right now. <laughs> ah. Into the back pocket where everything goes. Tyler's been trying to do that this whole time. You wish you lived hey, there. I'm Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. 
You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I, I went back to check on her this morning. Hopefully this dialogue doesn't take too long. Way. I'm probably gonna finish up after Whatever this. went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Tyler looks like he's gonna fall asleep. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm gonna rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> Alright. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? Oh, I was not paying attention. Some of them were straight up awesome, but we just weren't that close, you know? None of them really got, like, family i mean i guess i got pretty tight with my counselor aaron but i already have a family well there's a reason we think of families as trees they keep on sprouting new branches and... oh uh hey i think i've got a bite you got this reel them in oh jesus what do i have to do for this come on Pull up on the rod. Reel him in. Oh, okay, that wasn't so hard. Now give it a nice pull. I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty big fish. Let me little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. <laughs> hey, so the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we we're going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your hmm. uncle brought you to the JCE? 
Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so found someone who did. That sounds amazing. Mm, that's pretty you cool. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JC holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I, I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. You got anything good in there? Maybe, but who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine, be that way. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. It's not just a one fish kind of deal. I'm here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why do these scenes always have to go on for so long when I'm like, okay, I'm going to finish stream? So you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier, I'm a very serious man. So? What are you going to make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. Slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, walnuts, just a drop of olive oil. Pure perfection. As my partner in crime, you're entitled to a cut. Works for me, partner. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but... From my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. Yeah, well, I was the kid who killed his mom and I still found a way to confront my shit. I mean, I'm here doing the work, even though every second I've got to fight the urge to run straight back. To fire away, do you mean? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can mm. lean on me, too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got this. Can this be the last fish, lads? I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I've had a long day. Ah, you're gonna make me do it three times? 
Easy. <clears throat> oh. Whoa. Bam. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh. I got nothing. That was clean. Okay, I got an achievement, so huh. that means this must be almost... I'm a little disappointed. Finished. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? Sure. I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. I caught three fish. How dare you? Hey. You're missing the show. Sunset. Oh, make a move. Come on, man. You okay? Is she sitting outside the house? Doesn't she have keys? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> One way to put it. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. Uh, call me later. You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec?
I have no idea when it last saved. So I don't know when's a good time to quit. Is this so, me now? What is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. And you took his word for it? He was crazy in love with Marianne. Whoever set that fire was doing damage control. Yeah. And Sam's nothing but damage. I guess he really doesn't have anything left to lose, does he? There's something else. Look at it this. Was, I think it this was, was taken in 1992 the same guy. when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. Same he guy that was on the it. dock with her that she threatened Apparently to kill. She never told anyone about Looked it. like the same guy and that ran out past there. us. As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a okay, hidden can lock. Can you save so that That's I can... That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Oh, thank god it saved. Okay, good. Perfect. <laughs> I am wasting away over here. I'm so tired. <laughs> I didn't get very much sleep last night, so... I'm gonna I wanna say I'm cutting this one short, but it's basically the same length as the all the, all the other streams <laughs> that we've done so far on this. But um Yeah, I just need to be like vertical. No, I need to be horizontal instead of vertical right now. <laughs> That's how I feel. Um Yeah, no, I think the story is really starting to uh like pick up for us here in this game and it's it's cool I'm liking it um, some of the choices that I had to make were kind of hard but I'm just kind of like going with like my gut feeling I'm going with the emotions you know I feel like you kind of well you don't have to do that for this game but I feel like it's how I want to play the game so it is a good story it's it's really well done I kind of wish that that part with like Allison opening up to Eddie and telling him the truth. I kind of wish that that part was longer because that was such a huge deal and like it was like it, they didn't focus on it enough, I don't think. Like there's other conversations that they focused on for so long and they like drag out almost a little bit, but like that one was one that I was expecting to go on for a while and I was like settling in to like, you know, really get it and then it was just like, "Oh, that must have been hard for you to hold in." Okay, see you later. <laughs> like that's what it felt like. It was just so weird. Um Uh so I see that Euphorona is still streaming. Do you know is she is she gonna be going for another bit? Or is she finishing up? Cause I will send a raid her way if she's okay, she looks like she's still she's still going. So uh We'll return, return the old raid favor from last night. Even though you're probably already over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can go stream hop over to her now. And that can be your entertainment for the rest of the evening. But uh, thanks so much for being here, Miffy. I really appreciate it. I, I'm enjoying the game. And it's nice to bounce feedback and opinions off of somebody as we go through it. So yeah, I'm going to start the raid up now. And I will probably be streaming again tomorrow, so I will see you back here again tomorrow for more. Tell me why. I don't know if we'll finish it up tomorrow or not. Depends. I might start a bit earlier to try and facilitate a, a longer stream to finish it. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so I will see you then. <laughs>